Oh my god. He's fucking standing up. And this is the only way out. I, honestly, it was nothing personal, man. I, I, had to, I had to put a knife in you to get the key. Oh god, he looks pissed. Are you gonna let me go? Can I just walk past you? <gasps> oh fuck! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Bizarre's Part 8. I'm your host, Mefu. So after solving the unsolvable puzzle, we're now going back to doing what we do best. Breaking mirrors randomly with our sledgehammer. So here we go. Let's go find some fucking mirrors. Beware mirrors, I'm coming for you. Oh shit. What's that? There's a mirror in here. Oh, did I do that? Oh my god, shut that down. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so why can't we go for the door? Oh, we can't go for the door because of this. Okay, that makes sense. Or more sense. Oh, there's a lighter there. Should I swap out one of these crappy ones? Yeah, I might as well. I'll take that. Jesus Christ. Literally, Jesus Christ. Um, let's close this. And how do we get past all these crosses? Left pick up. Okay, here we go. Uh, drop. Oh, it's very erected. Let's go through here. There's a hole, maybe? Okay. Random tunnel. How do we get up? Ugh. Interact. Now what? There's another cross here. Let me wait, grab this. And then let's take it with us. Can I rotate you? Yes, I can. There we go. Come with me, cross. You are needed. He will be gone. I have a cross in my hand. Arms. Face. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what am I doing with this thing anyway? What's the point in having a cross? Chain, loads of candles. Aha! A hole here? Okay, so the, the cross slots across here. The cross makes it able to be crossed. <laughs> At least that door, okay. Right. What's going on in here? A crank. Time to crank that. Time to crank. Whoa. What's the point in raising him? Well, not raising, but like, you know, you know what I mean. Like, bringing him up here. Oh, there's a knife in his stomach. Let me get that for you, buddy. Wow, that is a bloody knife. Fucking hell. Jesus. I shall store that. There you go. You're all better now. I'll just walk away. There must be something else in here. Can't just be that. Oh, 
nothing with the candles. No. No. Okay. So let's cross our cross. And into this room. What's that? A fucking gun? Oh shit, sledgehammer attack. Random sledgehammer attack. There's like a shotgun. I have found a shotgun! All our problems are gone now. <laughs> uh. What the fuck? What kind of shotgun is that? Oh, that's just great. I found a shotgun and it shoots flags. What a joke. What a joke. What was the point in that room? That has made no sense. Why would they have this, a room with a shotgun in it? That doesn't work. Can I not pick you up? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so I'm going to move this and go down. Here you go. I shall erect you nicely here. Oh, 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 oh shit. Okay, I'm, I'm out. That was like that when I got here. I'm out. Oh, I'm so glad it's not falling damage. <laughs> Let's forget that ever happened with the cross. Never happened. Deja vu. But why would I come back? Oh, a lighter. Oh, that's one I dropped. <laughs> I'm out. I'm assuming I came in here just for the knife. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Go back in. Then go to the left, not the right. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yeah, looks like a knife to me. I stabbed Dolores in the face of it. Not that I want to, because she's such a nice old lady that doesn't try and kill me all the fucking time. Why are the lights never on? Oh, they are on. It's so dim. These are like LED lights or something. Make it a bit brighter. I sense a random mirror. That's what I like doing. Smashing mirrors and going in them randomly. One of my five a day, that. One of my five a day. Got a rocking chair. Interact. It's jammed. It probably could be pried open with the right tool. I think the sledgehammer is the right tool. Oh, come on. That would have smashed the whole bloody wall down. <laughs> right, let's try this. Nope. Key. Tape. Knife. No? No. It doesn't be like a compass on the other side of that. Maybe I have to come back here. I can hear something above me as well, like a mirror or something. Or maybe it's to the side. I don't know. I haven't fucking clue. Let's go find something to open that up with, like a crowbar or a butter knife or something random. I'm pretty sure I could have got it open with the, uh... Uh, whatever that thing is. That's all pokey stick thing. Oh fuck, it's glorious. Oh god. Close this one door. Close this one. Oh, it's a fucking mannequin. <gasps> oh fuck! What's that noise? I heard knocking. Hello? I'm assuming she won't attack me because she's not moving.
Be right with you. Loris's behavioral development hashtag two. I'll take that. Okay, she's still there. Anything else? What took you so long, George? Uh, Dwayne, actually. You know when tea time is, and yet you always find a way to be late. Were you in your study room again, scribbling nonsense and talking to your recorder? I'm beginning to think you love your work more than me. I know you tire of me. Oh, yes. I know you'd have me gone in a heartbeat if you could. It's just fine. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Would you be a doll and fetch me some of my special tea? You know where it is. I'll wait here, George. Uh, no. I mean, you spelt my name wrong as well. That makes it even worse. And I'm not George, I'm Dwayne. Get your own fucking tea. You've got tea already, you greedy bitch. I mean, I guess we can't continue the game if I don't get her tea, so... Ah, the tea key. You found a key tag tea box. From Johnny to you. Ah, oh, who, the, who the fuck's Johnny? Fucking radio. Oh, okay, you're, just, you're immune to being turned off. Yeah, I'm out. See you soon, Dwayne. Oh, now you remember my name. <laughs> I didn't find it that funny. Unless she means she's going to attack me when I get out. And then it would be kind of funny, but not really. Fuck it, I'm out. Light in there. Oh, interact. <laughs> I mean, technically, I would have fell down it by now if it was uh, able to be fell down. Fuck. Once again, I'm glad there's no falling damage. Oh, hey, Morris. Bring me my child. Bring me my child. I will, Dolores, I will. She's so lovely. Is there a mirror here? No. Right, so. I have the tea key. I need to go to the tea room. That's upstairs. Well, not the tea room, but the tea box, which I think was upstairs in the attic by the rocking chair, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Fuck off, Dolores. I'm trying to get the tea for you. Fucking tea. Okay, here's the attic. Let's go get that nice old lady her tea. Maybe she's just thirsty, that's why she's so angry. No? Just a thirsty girl. Sun and tea are written on the box. It's locked. Of course it is. Let me unlock that for you. 
I have found some special tea. What make is this? It's twinings. Winter white far Earl Grey. Winter white Earl Grey? Yes, it is winter white Earl Grey. That's a good, good tea, that is. Very good tea. Look at this! That guy must have moved when the picture got taken. What's, what's going on? What? No. No. Let me move. Don't come at the wall. Don't come at the wall. Wherever the fuck you are. What? That's the same handprint from Lucy's bunny in part one. The massive handprint. So is that the, the, the thing that killed Lucy? The... I don't know what that face is. The facade face? Vis visage face? I don't know. Maybe he infected um, Dolores as well and made her schizophrenic and dementia and other stuff like that. This is the base of the Brave Martyr. Oh, thank you for that. Oh yeah, I got that other tape, didn't I? Didn't I? I think I did. Yeah, let's have a listen. Dolores now has moments of severe psychosis. She loses contact with reality for long periods of time. She hardly remembers me anymore. She's lost her trust in me and it's becoming harder and harder to administer her treatments. She sometimes forgets where she is or even the fact that she has to wear clothes. She keeps on scratching her nails or banging her head on doors. She murmurs gibberish sentences and roams aimlessly around the house. The other day she even accused me of trying to poison her. I'm on the edge. I don't think I can take much more of this. How am I supposed to work, take care of the baby, and deal with her dementia all at the same time? Poor George. Uh, store this here. So I got two out of four. Is that four tapes? I think so. Looks like four slots. Um. There's a door there. Hmm. Maybe this is some sort of puzzle coming up. So I'm going to try to remember it as hair, half face, full face. So hair on the left, middle is half face, and right is full face. <laughs> okay, let's try this baby monitor walkie talkie thingy. Five. Zero. Three. Five, zero, three, seven, three, five. Okay, that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. I'll just put that way. Five, zero, three, seven, three. Five, zero, three, seven, three. I will forget that, but whatever. I tried. Hopefully I can come back and get the code. I'm assuming it's the code for something. Ooh, a lighter. A lighter. Did I replace my lighter recently? I think I did. There's a mirror there. Let's just do a 360 by accident <laughs> instead of closing the door. Alright, mirror, it's me and you, one on one. <laughs> uh, oh, there's someone in here. God, he's got blood all over the seat, and he's been stabbed like a million times in the chest and stomach. Who is this guy? Is this George, or is this someone else? Of course it doesn't fucking work. Oh, okay, that's not going to help it, is it? Sledge hammering it. Pick up what? 
you found an infusion bag. Okay. Please don't come alive. So nothing in these drawers. God, what a horrible way to go. If that is George, I feel pretty sorry for him. Just, just don't come alive and kill me, please. Because, um, dying sucks. What am I doing? Oh, interact. He's still there to stay there, okay? Don't do anything. It's locked. Nothing indicates which key unlocks it. The T key? I don't use the T key. The, the T? The knife. The candlestick with the revolver. And the rope. Nope, okay. Something I'm missing. I searched the worker's search. I might need to get a light bulb. I don't know how that would help anything. Interact. A single knife seems to have been removed. Yeah. And what? Single knife. Single fucking knife. The butcher's knife I got from Jesus. Um, I'm just going to put it in his body. Ooh. I'm sorry, man. It's nothing personal. I just, I need the key. <laughs> I just need the key. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. My, my hand slipped. Oh, I love you too, Key. I love you too. I didn't realise you felt that way about me. Thank you, Key. Right. Once again, I had to do that. George or whoever the fuck you are. So please don't get up and try and kill me. That was, that was part of the game. That was nothing personal, I swear. Quick, quick, quick. All right, I'll be back in a sec, George. You just stay sitting down, yeah? Just, just don't move. I'll be back. Close this fucking door. Okay. Ooh. A cloud toy. That's what I've always wanted. Ooh, a cassette. That's even better. Dolores' behavior development. Hashtag one. Nice. Bit of backstory. This has got those demonic hands on it again, like from the bunny in part one and from the picture I looked at earlier. 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 <laughs> right, let's try opening it. Oh, fuck. Where's my camera? This looks like infusion bags with loads of flies around it. What's the point in this? Oh, look at that. Let's close that again. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Why has it got the demonic hands on it? Oh, I can interact. No, I can't. Interact. Okay, is it, is it just that? What's the point of that? Fuck it, I'm out of here. It's jammed, of course it is. Right, let's put away the camera. I should maybe keep the camera out.
Oh my god. He's fucking standing up. And this is the only way out. I, honestly, it was nothing personal, man. I, I, had to, I had to put a knife in you to get the key. Oh god, he looks pissed. Are you gonna let me go? Can I just walk past you? <gasps> oh fuck! Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit! Close the fucking door! Close the fucking door! Don't come in the door, man. <laughs> it was just a little stabbing, man. It's just a little stab. Don't be waiting outside for me. Please don't be waiting outside for me. Come on. Right. Rule one, always check corners for campers. No one likes a camper, George, or whoever the fuck you are. Don't be a camper. It doesn't appear that George is campy anywhere. Unless he's gonna jump scare me in a second. Hmm. Okay, deep breath, here we go. I think that's Dolores. Unless George has suddenly got really sneaky with those knives in him. That is definitely someone peeking at me though. She's so fucking creepy. Please don't get me. Right, so I've got a... Oh god, that scared me. It's just my sledgehammer getting stuck on the railing. So I've got an audio tape. Uh, I'm going to go play it. Because, um... Yeah, I can. And... It seems like the best thing to do. Let's go find out some more story about... Oh dear, lovely Dolores. Uh, here we go. Pop you in. I fear that Dolores is getting worse by the day. Her temperaments are extremely bipolar. She gets easily upset over small things, almost always immediately followed by self-resentment and the asking for forgiveness. It's getting harder to cope with her outbursts, but my love for her is strong still, and I'll do whatever it takes to help her overcome her condition. <laughs> I'm gonna be late for tea. Where did I put that damned attic hook? Oh shit. I can see why you got stabbed so many times, George. You were late for fucking tea. That'll get ya. Don't be late for tea next time. Oh shit. I should probably take that cassette. And pop it in here. Right, so I just need one more of these bad boys. And I'm all wrapped up on the cassette area. Right, I will end it there as well. That's it in part 8. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in part 9. Take care.